Bill Maher recently said. He sat down for an interview with uh, AL.com, which is the advanced newspaper, Alabama news website here. Uh, they talked about politics, and uh, Maher was asked why he actually likes red states. He actually talked about going there, including Nashville. And he says, it's great to see where they were, where they had people who don't agree politically, who can sit in the same room. There were a few groans from the right when I said something bad about them, and some from the left. That happened, but basically everyone laughed together. And Bill Maher says this is the kind of thing you really only see anymore in red states. And it supports something that I think Rogan and TWU have both seen. Republicans have their viewpoints. They're, they're critical of Democrats, but they will listen. When it comes to Democrats, they have no room, not an inch, no time to listen to your point. You're just wrong. You're just wrong. Go away. That's all they want. They don't want to have a conversation, Rogan. They just want to tell you you're wrong. Yeah, you know, the price of free speech is to suffer fools, but we on the right and some moderate people on the left will still defend your right to be foolish, unlike the left who wants to shout you down and, and curse you out and, and, and cancel you. But uh, I tell people this is a very interesting experiment, right? If someone was wearing a Biden hat in Florida, or in Tennessee, they could walk around freely. They probably wouldn't have a single interaction unpleasant. But if you wore a MAGA hat in New York City, Portland, San Francisco, or LA, and especially if you wear one without a mask, you will be insulted multiple times. You may even be physically assaulted. So tell me which states are the most tolerant in today's America. Yeah, God forgid you're a high school kid and you wear one to the March for Life rally in Washington, D.C. God, you will be completely castigated by the entire media. But I, Bill Maher did say one thing that I disagree with him with, T.W. He said the country is falling apart. Half the people are not going to self-deport. You see these tweets and memes about owning or destroying the other side. I kind of like the memes. And, I, you know, they're like political cartoons. We need to inject humor wherever we can sometimes in our politics so we don't take ourselves too seriously. That's actually how you prevent a real insurrection, you know, having a little levity in, in these conversations sometimes. Yeah, I think the key, though, is John, it can't replace real dialogue. I True. think the challenge we have now is we're not having a real dialogue. Like Rogan mentioned earlier, you know, in certain places, you can't even have a, a, a difference, difference of opinion. And the challenge from the left is not that they just find you wrong anymore. People have always found people to be wrong. I find a lot of people I love and like to be wrong. The problem is they find you immoral now if you don't agree with them. If you don't accept word for word, verbatim, their, idolatry, their, their doctrine, then you are considered... Uh, one of the most heinous criminals the planet Earth has ever seen. And that is that idea of this dogma that you have to buy into this group think from the left or you're just completely castigated as being immoral. That's what's changed. And that intolerance has seeped in, not just at the media level, but it's even affecting now our, we're seeing it in our middle schools mm -hmm. and even our grade schools where our children are lining up with these different yeah, leave the kids. Uh, ideas because the left is so intolerant. Leave the kids alone. And that reminds me, Toby, of that famous Thomas Sowell quote. It says, he says, the left will forgive you for being wrong, but they'll never forgive you for being right because it proves that they're wrong and they will never forgive you for proving them wrong. Rogan TW, great Amen. to see you. We'll talk soon.